Bold and beautiful BNB spoilers for August 29, 2024. Coming up tomorrow on The Bold and the Beautiful, an unexpected offer and more. Luna Lisa Yamada is totally putting the nail in her mom's coffin. Poor Poppy Romy Park is stuck in a jail cell for a crime she didn't even do, and her own daughter is framing her. Then Deputy Detective Baker Dan Martin gets a visit from Luna, who claims she's got evidence that proves her mom's guilt. What evidence does Luna have? Is she really that heartless, watching her mom serve time for a crime she knows she didn't commit? Meanwhile, Bill Don Diamant finally drops by to see Poppy. She swears up and down that she did not do the crime, and she is being framed. Maybe somewhere deep inside, Bill may think she's telling the truth. But there's also some stuff they really need to chat about. They seriously need to address that whole paternity test situation that proves he's not Luna's dad after all. Bold and the Beautiful airs every weekday on CBS, keeping us hooked with the ongoing lives of the foresters. The gripping stories never fail to grab our attention, so make sure to catch all the drama as it unfolds. Enjoy bold and beautiful BNB spoilers for August 29th. Want to know what's coming up this week on The Bold and the Beautiful? Soap Opera News will keep you up to date on all things The Bold and the Beautiful. Be sure to check back daily to find out the latest in the soap world. Luna's madness grows more delicious by the day. During the August 28th episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, she had a lot to accomplish. She had to one drop off water to a caged Steffi, two finally visit her jailbird mom and show her support, and three throw her mom under the bus with Chief Baker. Yes, it was a busy day of creating chaos and mayhem for the people in her life. The fourth thing Luna Lisa Yamada did today was continue her obsession with Bill, and her mom played right into it. At the police station, Luna acted every bit the supportive daughter, but every once in a while, she pushed some of her mom's buttons. Call us masochists, but it was kind of fun to see Luna enact her brand of revenge on Poppy Romy Park, who was completely unaware that her parenting style had done so much damage. And that's on her because Luna is downright mad, obsessive, and homicidal. Luna didn't actually lie here. She absolutely knew that Poppy didn't kill Hollis and Tom. In fact, she's 100% sure. But as everybody else in town Deacon Sean Cannon, Sheila Kimberlin Brown and Katie Heather Tom, as well as Finn Tanner Novlin and Lee Naomi Matsuda talked about poor Luna, nothing could be further from the truth. This girl has masterminded a double murder, a switched paternity test, and a framing of said double murder. And exactly what evidence does she have to turn into Chief Baker Dan Martin Luna isn't about to let her mom get out of this anytime soon. Also, who agrees that she's no longer thinking about RJ Joshua Hoffman with this brand new Luna, that kid doesn't feel mature enough for her. He's just a boy. What is going on with Katie Heather Tom, her quest to take down Poppy has been a borderline obsession, but at least she felt she did it to protect Bill. Even though she can't quite admit it, we feel that she wants to reunite with her ex-husband. So, what in the world was she doing sitting down with Deacon and Sheila at I.L. Giardino? Even though they were talking about Poppy and the double murder, it felt like they were having a normal coffee date. This is weird, considering she willingly sat down at a table with Sheila, who may not have killed Tom Clint Howard and Hollis Hollis W. Chambers, but she has done monumental things to her family. The conversation was gossipy, casual, and weird. It just was. What did you think of Luna and her two faces? Also, Finn and Lee's conversation. How about Deacon Sheila and Katie at I.L. Giardino let us know your thoughts in the comments. Sometimes being smart can be a curse. Just ask bold and beautiful Steffi. After the horror of seeing Luna kiss Bill caused her to confront her brother's girlfriend, Steffi followed her to Luna and Poppy's old apartment, which is about to be condemned. During the confrontation, she figured out that Luna was even more loony than she realized not to mention lethal. She murdered her own father, Tom, as well as poor Hollis. Oh, the possibilities. Now Steffi knows too much and is stuck in a cage, but this can't possibly be the end of Steffi, can it? Surely someone will rescue her, but the question is, who will it be? Digest examines the possible hero pool. Here's our analysis. Steffi is a very capable, bold woman who knows what she wants and how to get it. But let's face it, where is the drama if she saves herself? While we feel she is perfectly capable of getting herself out of a jam of this magnitude, we doubt that's where this is headed. The good doctor is a survivor. She had her sister's and niece's number from day one. Relatives are usually good at stuff like that. Lee wanted both out of town and away from her son's family, but she didn't get her way. 
She certainly is motivated to find her daughter-in-law, and would probably suspect that naughty niece of hers given the chance. So while she is certainly capable, we don't see Lee being Steffi's savior this time. How much would it smart if Steffi was saved by a Logan? A lot, we bet. Katie has never suspected Luna of anything, and she thinks she has the right Nozawa in jail. Why would she bother? But if she hears that Steffi is missing, Katie could very easily put two and two together and come up with four. A little more likely than others but we still doubt this is where the story is headed. It's hard to imagine a candidate that would bother Luna more than if Bill, her big prize, figured out what she was up to and rescued his ex-lover from her clutches. And while that would be fun, unless the show was planning to revisit still, we can't see a reason for them to write this option. How funny would it be if Steffi ended up owing her freedom to the woman she detests more than almost anyone else, it would be a way for Hope to redeem herself in her stepsister's eyes after her time in the doghouse for kissing Steffi's husband. This has a little more of a chance of happening but there are still better options. Oh wouldn't he love to ride in as Steffi's hero Liam has wanted to reunite with his daughter's mother for some time, and while their two stolen kisses have yet to be made public, it would be hard for anyone to get mad at him for that if he also saved Steffi's life. And we really need people to be mad at him when they learn about those kisses. No one can say Finn isn't Steffi's hero. He got her out of that toxic triangle with Liam, and Hope and showed her there was a healthy way to have a relationship. He came back from the dead so to speak because of their love and his adopted mother, Lee's love too but we digress. While this would make Sin fan swoon story-wise it's a little snoozeville. That is why hard money is on Finn's biological mother, Sheila. She needs a huge win to score even a single brownie point with her son's wife. Saving her daughter Kelly didn't do it. So Sheila saving Steffi from a young woman who appears to be giving her a run for her money in the whack job department seems like the perfect way for her to finally be seen as a woman worthy of being allowed to speak to her own son.